Hi everyone, Combook Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 1 of Justice League Cry for Justice. Now as you know, yeah, Cry for Justice is meant to be a six part series, and I know the series did gain some infamous con controversy due to the death of Roy Harper's daughter, and I think after sitting down to read the first issue, I can see what the story is trying to say is how, yeah, you want to prevent any more future deaths and problems to friends and loved ones, and sometimes going against one danger is going to come with repercussions. So, let's get on with the story. He starts off with how saying, I have to say, I don't think I can take this anymore. And we do kind of see how, yeah, how points out with each crisis, they lose more and more people. And we do kind of see how Superman has to try and calm Hal down and say they have to rebuild in that. And again, we know since, yeah, after what happened with John Johns as well as Bruce Wayne, we know Hal doesn't want, want to lose anyone else. And they do point out that this isn't the old days. They can't really expect the villains to hide down in fear in that. It shows they are getting smarter. And this is a believable thing. Knowing that, yeah, the old days are done. But sometimes people will get smarter. You can keep fighting a war. You have to resort to other measures. And we do kind of see how, yeah, everyone tries to calm Hal down. But we know that Hal is actually right here, and even points out that they have to track down Libria and every member of the secret society in that. So we do kind of see how Superman has to try and talk with him. But of course, we do kind of see how, yeah, Green Arrow goes along with him. And of course, this is this Ollie trying to keep Hal under control and make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. And we do kind of see how Green Arrow points out that he could have used the, the sort of teleporter. But we do kind of see how, yeah, Hal got kind of caught in the moment, so they're heading down back to Earth. We see how in a bar in Mexico, we see how, yeah, Ray Palmer and Ryan Choi take down Kill Him Off and his groups. And we do kind of see how, yeah... Ray Palmer has used extreme interrogation to take down Kill Em Off and get info about the sort of technology in that, and w as well as learn where Prometheus is. And of course, after going into his brain, gains info. And we see how, yeah, in Opal City, a different kind of star man visits the sort of morgue to see an old friend and turns out was badly injured. And tragically died. And this is pretty much the alien star man. Known as Mikkel Tomps. Who is, who's pretty much furious about what happened to his friend. And goes off to try and find Prometheus. And of course, yeah. I would say this version of Starman is kind of like. What if the Kree were from basically DC Comics instead of Marvel. And we do kind of see how, in the heart of Africa, we see how a man known as Conga Bill, who is known as Kong Gorilla, who's meant to be like this golden gorilla, and turns out all of his tr troops and friends and that have been slaughtered, and basically sees them off one by one, and has to come to terms with all of the, the people, all of these primates that he's met. So, of course, he finds the body of, of his old form, as well as the consciousness of the original Kong Gorilla. And after hearing a voice, we see how it's one of his other teammates, known as Freedom Beast, saying, My friend! Try to stop them. Try to be the hero you taught me to be. No! 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 So, of course, this is him setting off to his troops and basically wanting revenge and retribution. And, yeah, this is the story. So, I think this one is okay. And at the same time, it's building up to what the story is going to be. I know the story did get a lot of negative reviews for killing off so many characters. 
But I think what the story is trying to say is that, yeah, you can fight a wall, you can go against something to prevent future problems, but you can end up losing more people, or sometimes, yeah, more people will get hurt in the crossfire. But I think the story still deserves a thumbs up. It's not bad, not great, but it's still readable. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.